so today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial that of makeup that I've been wearing lately as well. It is very similar to what I do with the Charlotte Tilbury palette and Makeup Geek Foiled Eyeshadow, but this time I've been using the Lorac Unzipped palette. And if you've been with me for a while, you know that this is probably my most favorite summer palette. I just love it. Um, I've had it now for a couple of years, I think. It's very, very dirty. Um, but I absolutely love this shade. <clears throat> this is not the unzipped gold. This is the original unzipped. But I thought what I will do, because I seem to do a couple of looks with this palette, uh, like a day one and more of a evening one. Well, to me, the evening one is a day one as well. You know me, I just slap it on. But um, I thought what I will do, I will show you how I uh, do like a day one that is not as strong and then I, how I would turn it into an evening one. So let's start. I'm going to put clips in my hair. These are the Lindsay clips. Remember, I've shown you them a while ago. Okay. So the first shadow I will take is Unconditional, which is this one. And I absolutely love this for a um, crease color. As usual, I'm going to use Blank Canvas Cosmetics E42. And uh, they ship all over the world. Um, they are inexpensive, so I will leave you a link to the website. The brushes are really good. I just wanted to show you. I've thinned out my brushes. This is like probably a third of my brushes um, because I was getting so annoyed with so many brushes, um, especially when it came to, to washing them. And I was just washing them uh, last week and I thought I can't do it anymore. And I've noticed that I seem to be using the same brushes over and over again. So with doing makeup for years and buying different brushes I sort of know what I'm happy with okay so I'm going as usual just on my bone here and I'm just going in this half moon motion People often ask me, um, you know, how I don't get the eyeshadow all over my face. Whenever I dip my brush, I always, always tap it really well off. I'd rather pick up less eyeshadow and build it up than get a big dollop and have it all over my face. But if you're not good at that, just do your foundation after you've done your eyes. So, I'm just doing that and I'm sort of blending it out upwards um, I don't go anywhere below that crease and as I'm blending it out it's not as strong I don't dip my brush again to blend it out I'm so happy my Botox is really wearing off that I can lift my eyebrows now it's so much easier to do my makeup I don't think I'm going to have the Botox again I like it right now but if I had so little put in to be like this it wouldn't last so long so I don't know I definitely will have the fillers done under my eyes I've actually noticed that I think I'm losing the volume again here so I will soon need a top up. It's been six months since I had it done. So I know it says that this filler can last up to 18 months, but I think I'm a bit too old and my bags are too far gone for it to last so long. Okay, now I'm going to take Unreal. And um, this is like a I don't know champagne color and actually they are very um, very shimmery very much like the makeup geek um, fold eyeshadows I won't use a synthetic brush I will use just a you know natural hair brush because for the daytime I don't want it to be as um, shimmery 
I will leave that for the evening look. So all the space up to the crease I'm going to fill up now with this shimmery eyeshadow. This brush is very old brush. I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's Virgin Cosmetics. Do you remember Virgin Cosmetics? <laughs> um so yeah but any any paddle brush and then i'm going to take um pencil brush and this is blank canvas cosmetics e23 so it's a little pencil brush and i'm going back to that unconditional and I'm going to put it, I mean, you know, you don't have to do it. I just really always liked having eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I've always felt um, like it detracted from my eye bags. Okay. And that's it. So now I will just put um, a bit of eyeliner on. I use this, um, I've used it a lot. This is the Maybelline uh, Master Smoky, I think, shadow pencil. It's quite thick, but I don't know. I like something about it. I can still get a thin line and um, I like the consistency of it. And I only just like lightly smudge it in my in my eyelashes and then i'm going to put mascara on this is my kiko mascara so i'm not talking about it because it's not available anymore but any mascara that you have we had a wonderful time in scotland i see you all enjoyed the video to be honest what happened um the drone footage is fabulous isn't it uh, so our friend gary uh, has the drone and of course paul wants one now uh, oh god i got mascara all over my eye um he actually took a lot of footage of us walking on this big beach with the dogs but he gave me the wrong memory stick uh, memory card so that's the only bit i had but we had much more footage of us on the beach as well when he was lowering the drone so that was a shame um but yeah and i also have left my wig over there <laughs> so um i took one of my wigs but to be honest i could not be bothered i just walked for three days without full hair um but yeah gary then was trying my wig on and sending me photos he's gonna post it back to me okay for my lips i'm going to use the mark jacobs um lip liner in nudist and for my lipstick i'm going to use the jade do you remember i bought it a while ago i forgot about it actually and i really love it in 195 nude sheer i'll put it down below such a lovely creamy lipstick and i could put some sort of um gloss on it so that would be my day look and now we are going to um, transform it into more of an evening look. Okay, well, let's put my clips back on. Right, so what I will do to transform it into an evening look, I'm going to go back into the unconditional and deepen my crease a bit, but just on the outer V. Now I will go into Unbridled, which is this one at the top, the very dark one. I will take my uh, Real Techniques uh, shading brush, which I love using for that sort of purpose. 
and I'm going to shade my seven here As you can see I'm sort of patting not going like this because that will make um, your eyeshadow fall all over the place as well I sort of pat it in press it in and also you get better color payoff when you press it in and then I will obviously um, blend it out Um, I really like for my blending the Zoeva 228 crease brush and I'm just going to blend it a bit I will take my pencil brush and go to that dark and brittle and I will put that um, on my lower lash line I'm just gonna blend out these edges with nothing on my brush um, a bit up then now I'm going to go back into the Unreal that shimmery one now I'm going to take a um, synthetic brush because that gives you a better payoff with those foil type of eyeshadows you could also wet your brush with Fix Plus or even water and I'm going to make it much more shiny again as you can see I'm pressing it in And bring it up here in a, in a corner of your eye I will now put the black eyeliner in my waterline and maybe put a bit more just on the inner top lash line as I'm going to apply false lashes I go over with my mascara a bit here because I probably got a bit of eyeshadow on my lashes and I'm going to apply the three quarter lashes that are my favorite by Isla Flair Loves and as usual I'm using the Eskido glue I think you can get it from the Eskido.com website and I think some of the online stores that sell eyelashes will sell a skido as well this top that i'm wearing is do you remember i bought it last year from patty's patty boutique patty's boutique on amazon and melissa melissa 55 she found this um store for us and they do really inexpensive good quality nice summery tops so i will leave you the link to that one as well let me show you the mirror because you're always asking about the mirror um, it's just a mirror, a bathroom mirror that I've bought in a local store, so nothing special. I like to, it's not magnifying, but I like to, I can get close to it 
I'm still, I can still see <laughs> without magnification. When you stick your eyelashes on, then push them up like this because if you stick them on and they're pointing down, they're actually going to close your eye instead of opening it. <clears throat> Something's happening with my voice. Okay, so that's one eyelash done. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you, I got this uh, in Scotland in a little boutique. They are like matte silver, a bit hammered with some little, not real diamonds obviously. And I don't th even think this is real silver because they were very inexpensive. And then I got as well these stacking rings there. I really like that. So yeah, that's my souvenir to myself from Scotland. We, we also got some funny tea, tea cups, well mugs. Okay, so that's the eyes done. Now for the lipstick, I usually probably even for the evening would um, leave pale lips, but I've been really loving this uh, Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in Queen, Queen Bee, and you might have noticed I have been using it a lot in my videos. I really, really like it. I feel as, I like it as much as I like the Ofra ones. I think as far as matte lipstick goes, this one is really good. I never feel, obviously it's not gonna feel creamy like your normal creamy lipstick, but it's not overly drying. And sometimes I will put it on the top of that. So it still stays on, but it doesn't feel as dry. So I'm gonna put it on the top of that. Remember I got this in a Sephora, um, all about lips this little set um, but I'm going to buy a full size because I love it this one and the Marc Jacobs slow burn were my favorite you will notice that lipstick as it dries it gets darker as well Okay, so that would be my evening look with this palette. I love this palette. This will be probably the only palette that I will take on holidays because, you know, I can have a little day look with it, as you saw, or I can really pimp it up. <laughs> so um, it's getting darker and darker outside. So just so as well, I finished this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.